Привет, comrade! It's as I, Rashmus, and welcome back to my face. Now, I'm making this short little thing before this War Thunder video saying thank you guys for supporting me as I got to 100 videos. That's actually a, uh, it's a lot of recording time. That's it's about, um, let me see here. I, there's nothing on my, I don't know what I'm doing. There's a freckle. But that is about um, 100 plus hours of me recording and failing and all that. There's a vacuum outside, so. <laughs> I do want to thank you guys for making me, well, not really making me, I did it on my own, but supporting me through 100 videos, so. Let's get on to some more thunder, huh? Привет, comrade, it's is I, Rashamus, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I'm going to be showing you a replay, a replay, a replay that literally just happened. Like, not five minutes ago this match finished. And it is a match where, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I put my team on my back towards the end. I'm like, yo, we're going to win. Like, it was so close to us losing. I think we had like 300 tickets left or something like that. But let's get underway here. Now, first off, I'm going to be driving into T34 with 1941. Nothing too big and fancy here. I Yeah, they gave it a machine gun, so I was like, hey, <laughs> a machine gun. Yeah, I love machine gun. So, I should pop that um, PKT. This guy's on PKT. I think it's a That's a... It's a gun. Let's put that way. I don't know that. I don't know how, but... Uh, and if you see those things magically, Drawing itself as I talk to you in third right there. Um, that was me firing the machine gun. And I was like, hey, look, Dad, there's a new bridge. But I remember this bridge was always here. And, um, just gonna say, I'm the only person on my team who goes this way, like, at all, the entire map. And there I am, just saying, screw fences. Some columns. Um, this is a nice little tank. I don't have everything for it yet, which is odd, because I usually have everything for tanks. So, I mean, there's that. And you hear those bombs, this is the AI bombing them. On this map, you see if there are random bombs that go down from AI that just blow up buildings, that's all they do. I've been killed by them, though. Um, you can't be killed by them. Do not underestimate the AI bomb table is screw you over. Um, there was one dude on the enemy see if we can find him here on the list. Um, this guy. Um, he was the best player on the enemy team. Which is very funny. And, you know, he kills me. First off, he kills me. Which is, um, because somehow, um, the same tank goes through the front of mine. Like, his rounds are going through me, but mine weren't going through him. This just get, I just lied. I'm selling you lies, guys. No. Um, I never got a shoot at him. Because the first shot that somebody put into me, which is weird, because I believe it hits me here on the 45 degree angle right there on my sword's armor. And it goes through, which is very odd. It's, no, it's actually from the 37 of that right over there. I look and I'm like, oh god, that's a Lee. So, I'm like, eh, it's a Lee, he can't turn. So I just put one into him. And I believe that gives me very bad FPS and um, kills his turn. And I put another one into him. Um, I think I destroy his, yeah, I catch him on fire, destroy his engine. And I load a trap layer, it's like, ah, trap layer, I'm just gonna get to the side. No, no, they can't. And as you can see right there, somehow he goes through me. Not entirely sure how. Why am I getting such bad FPS? Ah, uh, this is making me cringe. Okay, there we go, it normalized. It's probably just loading or something. Now, that shot, I believe, went in right there. Because that's where you aim on T34, in case you're wondering, is turret ring. Especially if you're closing that. Then there he goes, hitting me, he's right over there. And, oh, that's me dead. He went straight 
straight through me and came here to kill Cam. That's how that works, apparently. I actually skipped it because I was like, nah, I know you shot me with the X game. I need to know that. Let's fast forward a little bit here. Um, that is not me. Where am I? I'm still spawning in. That might be why. Now, second time around, I go out in the amazingly overpowered T-50. Here I go. My little race car. Uh, you can see why I call this thing a me later in this video, because it is, man. This dude's. Yeah, it's fast. It has very good armor for its tier. Very good. Well, not very good gun, but it has a decent gun for its tier. Um, See this armor is sloped? Yeah. It's um pretty much impossible to get through like anything that I'm going up against. So that's those eight that are going forwards. Nothing can get through me. You'll see later on I go up against um American tanks, like M2s and M3s with their old 37s, and they can't get through me. I'm like, screw trees. And that was a lag spike. That was the first mini in this game. And that was the video a little bit. Yeah. Um, I get very bad lag spikes in this video. And if you see this, I actually decide to help them because, you know, why not? So I get out here my Spitfire Mach something. I know I always say I hate the planes in arcade mode, but there we go. I took off his elevator so he couldn't move, and then I can go with his pilot. And then I forget what just happened. So I see his 228, 226, so you know when you do it, it's a little light armored target, you shoot 20 Zen, and nobody goes through, which is not this dude. Exactly. Here I go, with this car again. Fucked out of my soul. And if you see me, I have one death, one aerial kill, and two ground kills, which isn't a lot. But you'll see later on how many ground kills I get, how many aerial kills I get, because I do go up in a point once again. Um, here I go, lag spiking around. Just a little bit here. Big Ben, gotta go fast. Okay, so so. Here I am, just flanking around. Especially in the T-50, T-50 is a point there. And this is actually a pretty funny game. Now, this is a up to a war. You know, it's not as big a deal, but you look right under there. I thought those would bring up one again. And up the more more so that you see right there, that's a T-34. So, I plant nothing into him and I switch over to APCR. I'm like, hey, I wonder if I can shoot through him and get him. <laughs> so I shoot, shoot the M2 and he dies. T-34 shoots, hits the right of his friend, so I'm like, hey, you done screw now. Put one right into his loader. So, as he is trying to back away, put one right into his driver's hatch, killing his driver. I decide to glitch on forward there. Um, I tried to put one through the gunner side, so he couldn't turn fire, but his loader's dead, so he's like, Right now I'm shooting at his gun, trying to knock that out. So I just decided to put a double on through his driver's edge and I kill him. Yeah, that's how we do. How we do. Yeah, cool. okay, there I am. Um, I shot sandbags. So I went to the okay, I'm, I'm, I don't know what the people are just doing right now, to be honest with you. Um, out there on the bridge, there's another M2A. Well, I think it's that same guy from earlier. Like, for some reason, you can't shoot through the railing on that. On the bridges, which is odd. It's very odd. So let's go back to my view. Now, I saw the tracers from whatever that is shooting at them. So I was like, okay, we're going to put one into them. Um, give him my buck because I'm smart. He bounces because he's firing a 37 to get through. 
This friendly bomber is going up against two enemy aircraft, so I decided to pop on over into one of my fighters, which happens to be the P400, my least favorite aircraft. So here I am, I see that's a vehicle. Catch him on fire. Then there's a. Oh. M683. It's the. Yeah, it's like some pretty wow. Um, oh, zero. He catches the little huge more fire over my turn, sadly. And right there, I'm shooting at this guy, and I'm giving the illusion for a front. So watch what happens. Watch. It's gonna hit the ground. The illusion floor shot down by Russian Miss P400. I got minus 12,000 credits because of that. <laughs> Made me angry. Let's just pause it. I'm pausing. Okay, replace this with this thing. So I see that my friend is calling out a bomber again. He's pretty much screwed. I mean, no doubt about it. Um, I don't know what happened right there. Just, you know, arcade physics, I guess. Being arcade physics. So here I go. As you see, we are down to half our tickets now. And they're still at a quarter. I mean, they do a very good job of keeping and holding these objectives. Um, they actually start to take A. I think they decap A, but we push them back again. So, here I am. I'm actually seriously just driving over here like... I'm getting control. There's a T-34 But I see a T-34 medium right there. So I chase after him. I'm actually lagging very badly right now. I think my picture is going So, I'm driving up. I'm trying to get up behind him. The M2 is actually surprisingly fast for how big and stupid it is. I mean, it really is. So here I am, driving around the corner. Oh look, the M2. Plop one into him. That seriously did not a bit. That one hits his engine. He sh shoots at me, misses, I put one right to the back of the little hole there. Killing the one machine cutter. And there I was like, what? Oh, uh, what? It's lag. So I put one right there and I'm like, you know what, your driver's still alive. So, yeah. Now, something that they added in one of the updates I never noticed is look at my tank. Look at my tank. It's covered in mud. As your tank gets older and older, as you just drift around and play around with mud in your tank, it starts getting covered in mud. And this also happens from artillery hitting you, kicking dirt up onto your tank. Which, I mean, if you watch here in a minute, it's actually really. Somehow that column is called in the engine. There is actually an M3 steward down there. I put one into him. I thought I could have gunner, but you know, I didn't. That's a, I think an AFK M2. A4, which is hilarious. Because, yeah, I so good, you know, but he's actually not AFK. He's actually not AFK. I thought was AFK and we'll start shooting and then we start making this. Um, first shot actually goes to the gunner, so I mean, can't do that. Keep putting them into him, I swear to god, I killed his three times over. Like, I killed his gunner like three times, I swear. 
but he keeps on turning that turn and keeps putting him into it. That one went straight through. Uh, I'm not playing APCR right now, but it gets me blows my track off. I know that I killed the floater, so I'm gonna be able to outgun him very easily. So more to him killing him. Now since all that artillery went off near me, my tank is now covered in a dusty mud. And here I am spawning an artillery right about here. Fire. Basically fire. And my track comes back up and I keep on going. Now if you look at our ticket. We are very low. I swear to God, I'm not going to lose this game. Because our ticket counter gets so low. But I start capping this, and they, my team's already capped A, so we basically got this game. That round hit and bounced because of the angle. One of the right there. I think that killed his loader. Put that one into him. Hit the same guy again for some reason. Put that one into him, and I killed his gunner. He is done. So, seriously, look at our tickets, they're so low. But, we have 424 They still have around 1,500, but, as you can see, their best player is out. Their next runner-up is like, um, I'd say, a pretty bad player, actually. He pretty slow tiers, so that's pretty bad. I have 10 kills, and we've won this game. Actually, you just start driving down where you're seeing them in the scene. As I go towards the broad of the chapter right, just to make sure that we can win this. So here I go, my beautiful mud covered tank, which I love this thing. And then the game ends. So that was one of my best games of the week right there. I know it's only Tuesday, but still. That was the best game I've had in a few weeks. I'm pretty happy about myself, and in case you are wondering, I did kind of put my team on the back door, but we will go. So, good job to DGH, he did decent, I mean, three deaths though, like, come on bro, get on my level, but <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching, stay safe on that battlefield, don't get shot in the face, and I'll see you next time.